New this morning, a family landscaping business in Roswell is a smoking pile of rubble this morning. Check out this video here. Flames consumed the house that was storing the family's equipment, according to the Plains Valley Online News. Now, the fire broke out around 1030 Tuesday night in 1700 block of North Missouri. The battalion chief said the fire uh, engulfed the house. When crews first arrived, at one point they were forced to back off and call in the power company when a power line collapsed near the rear of the home. That delay allowed the fire to grow out of control, according to the chief. The owner says that about 13,000 worth of landscaping equipment was destroyed in addition to the damage done to the home. In other news this morning, the biggest questions remain unanswered following yesterday's Department of Justice briefing about the investigation into the Albuquerque Police Department. You know, this investigation has been going on for more than a year now, and this is the first peep out of the DOJ about it. A federal investigation probing the culture at APD was prompted by a wave of police shootings, rough arrests, and cops finding themselves on the wrong side of the law. At the meeting last night, about 20 hand-picked people were there behind closed doors. The federal government said they're wrapping up the fact-gathering phase of the investigation. It appears that they have uh, findings. Uh, to what extent they wouldn't elaborate. At the meeting, the DOJ told people it will publish what it found in the investigation, and now we've learned that might include criminal charges and a fixed plan. You'll hear more about all of this coming up in about a half hour. We're coming up at 5.03, Bernalillo County may need to liquidate its investment portfolio. That is according to this morning's Albuquerque Journal. The county may have to take a $23 million hit to avoid bigger losses down the line. Now, again, according to a copyrighted story in the journal, county executives met yesterday preparing a new round of budget cuts to offset the declining value of the county investments and rising interest rates may harm the value of the investment portfolio. Selling bonds for less than they were bought for is among the options on the table. Now, the investment policy is on the agenda at the Bernalillo County Subcommittee of the Investment Committee meeting being held at 3 o'clock today in the Treasurer's Conference Room in the basement of One Civic Plaza. Despite this ongoing financial crunch, Bernalillo County made a million dollar commitment to Innovate Albuquerque, the project. In a four to one vote, commissioners gave tentative approval to funnel a million dollars to develop a business incubator and entrepreneur academy. Innovate ABQ promises jobs and a more vibrant city. A major hurdle is now cleared in the race to renew jobless benefits for the long term unemployed. Yesterday, the U.S. Senate voted 60 to 37 to limit debate on the bill, with Majority Leader Harry Reid calling on Republicans to go ahead and support it. Let's pass this bill so that our fellow Americans, more than a million of them, don't have to suffer and can keep, and we can then talk about the long-term plan. It's the right thing to do. We're told Republicans want to change the way the benefits are paid, so the cost, about $6.4 billion, won't add to the deficit. Well, did you know that people who get hurt on the job while they're high or drunk can still get money from workers' compensation here in New Mexico? Yeah, State Representative Dennis Roche wants to change that, though. His bill would cancel all workers' comp for those workers who are hurt while under the influence. Private business owners are saying that because of New Mexico's over-generous workers' comp laws, they're considering moving their employment situations the way the law is right now, if drugs or alcohol contribute to workers getting hurt, they can still get 90% of their workers' comp. The only way workers would get nothing is if drugs or alcohol were the only reason they got hurt. State legislators have tried to change this law in the past, but it's always been shot down. Well, federal War Prosecutor Damon Martinez's nomination as the next U.S. Attorney for New Mexico is now pending before the U.S. Senate. Mr. Martinez is from Albuquerque, and the president announced the nomination for him yesterday at the White House after both our senators recommended Mr. Martinez for the job. He joined the U.S. Attorney's Office in 2001, and he supervises the organized crime and gang section in Albuquerque. 
Park. State police are investigating what led up to one of its officers shooting and killing an armed man during a SWAT situation. Yesterday around noon, Torrance County Sheriff deputies were called to this Moriarty home. They say they were greeted with a man with a rifle firing off shots. The sheriff's office says the man shot at officers and helicopters. A state police SWAT team then arrived. The state police chief says eventually it was one of his officers who ended the standoff shooting and killing the man. We don't want it to end this way, obviously. We want him to come out, and, and uh, uh, we want to take him into custody without incident, and unfortunately, that just didn't happen here. Chief Cassettes wouldn't say why his officer fired, only that they're trained to shoot if there is a perceived threat. Well, there are now two arrest warrants out for the women involved in a deadly encounter with a mixed martial arts fighter here in New Mexico. Doña Ana County Sheriff's investigators say the women were with four men who are accused of forcing their way into Joseph Torres's home near Las Cruces on New Year's Day. Torres fought them off, killing one man and badly hurting another. His lawyer says he was just protecting his family. Every American has the right to defend their home, their family, and their life, and that's exactly what my client was doing. Deputies say an argument earlier in the night led to the break-in, and they're trying to figure out exactly what happened. Torres's lawyer fears the fighter may end up facing criminal charges, too. We are told Torres gave a statement to investigators and has now moved away, saying he wants to keep his family safe. Okay, 507, we're just getting things started here on KRQE New this morning. Coming up in a half hour, we'll have more on the Department of Justice meeting that happened last night. The closed door meeting, a lot of people were wondering what exactly happened. We'll be able to give you a sneak peek into that coming up. Also, watch this. Don't step on my camera, please. I'm Keep your hands off me. Don't step on my camera, please. All right, two Albuquerque City officials are accused of getting out of line. We'll have more on this video that has surfaced coming up. And remember that teacher in Rio Rancho who caused a nationwide controversy after one parent says he made some racial remarks after a black student showed up dressed as Santa? Well, we have an update on that situation and much more coming up in our next half hour.